Another possible solution to the IP address space exhaustion problem is to simply add more bits. This is the gist of the contribution of the IPv6 protocol. Here's a picture of the IPv4 protocol header, and all of the fields shown in red have basically been removed in IPv6, resulting in both a much simpler header and addresses that are much larger. By contrast, here is the IPv6 header. The IPv6 header provides 128 bits for both the source and destination IP addresses. Now the format of these addresses are as follows. Of the 128 bits, the top 48 bits are for the public routing topology, and we have a 16-bit site identifier, and finally, a 64-bit interface ID, which effectively has the 48-bit Ethernet address of the interface, plus 16 more bits. Now the top 48 bits can be broken down further. They include three bits for aggregation, 13 bits for a top-level provider, something like a tier one ISP, eight reserved bits, and 24 additional bits. Now note that there are 13 bits in the top 48 that directly map to the tier one ISP, meaning that addresses are purely provider-based. Thus, changing ISPs would require renumbering. IPv4 has many claimed benefits. There are more addresses, the header is simpler, multi-homing is supposedly easier, various aspects of security are built in, such as the IPv6 crypto extensions. Now despite all of these benefits, we've yet to see a huge deployment of IPv6 yet. 